Ho-Ho is a traditional sport that dates back to ancient India. It is the second most popular traditional tag game in the Indian subcontinent after Kabaddi. The game is now taking shape in the country with rapid growth. Our reporter Kingori Mwangi takes us through the paces to give us a glimpse of what exactly this Ho-Ho as a sport is. Koko is a tag game of India. Its origin is as old as Mahabharata, with strategies and tactics derived from special military defensive strategy, bridged by expert warrior Abhimanyu. His style of fighting reflects the concept of ring play, a defensive tactic in the game, as Simon Mbogwa explains. Koko, as uh, it is termed, Koko uh, originates from a sport that entails tapping on one another. But this is just a sport that entails markings on the field and only two poles uh, on each end of the field. After that, when you have the players, only 12 players from each team, you are good to go. For a beginner, this is what one must learn about the rules. Chaser is expected at all times to stick to the chaser block irrespective of the durated time they are supposed to be uh, on the play. And a chaser will only leave the chaser block when they are only tapped by an active chaser. At the start of play, the active chaser starts off in one of the free zones as the game begins. The blue of the whistle after the sides have been determined from the toss of the coin. And when the, between the two teams, when a team defines that, uh, chooses that they will be the chasers, they automatically become the people running after the opponent team. And points are gained by either tapping, when I run after a, a defender and tap on them, that's a single point for the chaser team and when I run after the defender still and I do a complete flat dive or at times we call it the sky dive you gain two points and how is Koko different from other indigenous Indian sports like Kabaddi Koko is not much of a contact like Kabaddi is because Kabaddi entails much of the raiding and a little bit of uh, uh, energy and struggling down somebody after you raid them but coco is just a matter of tapping the contact that we get, we have in coco is only in tapping so that is the big difference i would say for coco with a lot of fun aspect to the game it is slowly gaining popularity in the country we are creating a sport of inclusivity among us all that can be played by anybody irrespective of your tribe your race your religion come to coco and we grow together and this is Coach Simon's plea to the government. If we can bring the countries together, I believe we can have somewhere where something can be done. And we have a Coco Arena down there and we can even play it. We can host the countries. Yes, I'm calling on board our ministry, our minister of sports, our CS. Welcome on board and see, understand what is Coco. This game being a personal development tool for a player that takes up the challenge, it also fosters teamwork, loyalty and agility. The Federation is working for to ensure the game grows in the country. Reporting for KBC Channel 1 from Nairobi, I'm King Orimwangi.